Ahem. Is this thing on? Statutory disclaimer and opening statement. The Zomo the Destroyer show is for iguanas only. Please tail whip and claw your pet humans until they leave the room before you listen because this show is not intended for lesser sorts of creatures like humans, monkeys, other mammals, birds, frogs, fish, salamanders, snails, spiders, snakes, geckos, any of that crap. No geckos, no lesser sorts. Understood? They all gone now? All right. Then we can begin. Howdy, you're listening to the Zama the Destroyer Show, a podcast by an iguana for iguanas, talking about important iguana stuff and issues. I am your host, Zamo the Amazing. I'm sure you know me from the comic I used to appear in, Zama the Destroyer. But if not, <sighs> go kick your ass. I swear to God, I'm going to kick your ass if you don't read my old comic. But you can catch yourself up at zombalidestroyer.com. You know, when I'm done kicking your ass. Anyway, howdy, iguanas. I wanted to tell you about an absolutely vital thing you must make your monkeys do. Knit. Also quilting. Now, I know it's a little late in the season, but if you get them starting now, then next winter you'll be much warmer. By the way, if you have boy monkeys, don't let them tell you knitting and quilting is for chicks. That's, they're just looking for a get out of work free card and don't let them get it. What you got to do is say, yes, it is for chicks and point out that that is why they should do it because they'll meet chicks there. Definitely don't let them get away with not doing it on account of that. I guess this whole you'll go meet some chicks via knitting and quilting would be somewhat awkward if your male monkey is already married. But then again, statistically, a lot of the married monkeys, they were going to be having, uh, how do you want to put it? They were going to be going after some forbidden bananas anyways. So there you have it. Might as well be forbidden bananas who knit and quilt and make nice things for iguanas. Why, you ask? Because cold weather, that's why. You gotta bully your monkeys into learning to knit and quilt, and then you hassle them to make things for you to keep you warm in the long, miserable winters. For example, Georgie knows how to knit. It's one of the few qualities I like in her. And I make sure she's constantly busy knitting me little sweaters and blankies and tail socks, all sorts of neat things. Well, speaking of tail socks, I got her to make me not one, not two, but several merino wool tail socks. It makes the tile floors much easier to deal with in December and, well, even up to this time of the year. And, yeah, hell, straight through to June sometimes. Now, sometimes she'll complain because she wanted to knit something for herself. But I think us iguanas all know how you deal with that bullshit. Aside from the standard clawing temper tantrums, I called Georgie's mom, and I told her Georgie was being selfish, and she wanted poor Iggy to have a cold tail. And then Grandma yelled at Georgie. And then Georgie made me the tail sock. Also, I pointed out to Georgie that making me a whole bunch of tail socks would be much cheaper than her other options. Number one, she could rip up all the tile flooring in the house, and hardwoods too. They're not as bad as ceramic tiles, but, you know, they they get pretty chilly. And then she could install radiant heating so the tiles in the hardwood would be warm on Iggy's backside and tail and whatnot. And option two is, you know, moving us down to Los Angeles where it's nice and hot almost the entire year round and putting in radiant heating in the house in Los Angeles. Now, I would prefer the Los Angeles option, but for some reason, Georgie just refuses to do the reasonable thing and get them immigration papers growing. Anywho, she decided to see things my way and make me some tail socks. And anyways, another benefit of making your monkeys knit is there's a social aspect with it. You know, there's things like knitting circles or stitch and bitch meetings. Now, I know what you iguanas are thinking. If one monkey is annoying, why do we want to encourage them to congregate together? Two reasons. Number one, 
you can go along and you be adorable. And then you get your monkey's knitting pals to either also make things for you or at least get them to hassle your monkey to be more productive in making things for you. Either way, you get more stuff. Number two, you can stay home and enjoy the peace and quiet with your monkey out of the house at the knitting circle thing. I recommend a mix, actually. Some weeks you go, other weeks you stay home. It gets you enough face time with the other monkeys to get you extra stuff and make it easy to manipulate them, but you still do get extra unsupervised alone time. Now, quilting is a bit of a different beast because, well, quilts can be nice and warm and cozy. See, they're made with a sewing machine, which can be very noisy. So unless you've got an Amish pet monkey who does everything by hand, in which case you really don't want that because them hand quilts, they take a long time. And who has the time to wait for it? So you want them to be making them via machine so they get lots of stuff made for you. But the problem is in the machines, you got to balance the warmth factor against the noise interrupting your naps and TV watching factor, you see. Also, Lots of knitting circles, they meet every week. But quilting guilds, they usually only meet once a month. So there will be less unsupervised alone time for iguana. You got to take that into account. Now, Georgie does not quilt. But the crazy neighbor broad, Mrs. Churchman, she does. Now, normally she and I don't get along at all. But I saw her hanging out her laundry. And she had this narrow, long quilt with the washing which I figured would be a perfect tail blanket, and it was in shades of green. So Iggy went over there and started complimenting the work and lamenting that Georgie doesn't know how to make that sort of thing, you know, and dropping lots of hints that Iggy sure would like such a quilt. Now, maybe it was just that Mrs. Churchman thinks I'm a demon from hell and wants her property to be demon-free, but she offered me the quilt, and Iguana took it home. So, point is, aside from your own monkey, do keep an eye out for which of your monkey's neighbors and other associate monkeys has nice stuff you can acquire. It, or it has the ability to make nice things for you to acquire. Either way, it works. In any case, you gotta watch out for the other monkeys at the guild or circle wanting to get your monkey to participate in their charity projects. Because you see, time spent making quilts or sweaters for less fortunate monkeys is time not spent making quilts and sweaters for you, the iguana. You gotta jealously guard your monkey's productivity time. I mean, you don't put up with them for their looks, do you? <laughs> Sorry, I know it's weird to laugh at my own jokes, but <laughs> seriously, it would want to look at them. <laughs> anyway, it... It comes down to this. Obviously, we all think of monkeys in terms of what they can provide us with in terms of food and paying the heating bills and getting us Netflix and entertaining us. But not enough of us think outside the box to other things we can make our monkeys do for us. Don't be short-sighted. I know they're a stupid species, but even so, they can certainly provide us iguanas with more than we usually demand of them. And don't worry if your monkey doesn't currently know how to knit or quilt. This is why God gave us Amazon. You just take their credit card and you look online for some beginner's books with projects that you would like your monkey to make for you. And you order that stuff on their credit card. And then when it arrives, you make them do it. So there is my little public service announcement to all fellow iguana kind. Make your humans knit. Make your humans quilt. Keep warm. Anyway, speaking of quilts, <laughs> Gwen is going to go have a nap under mine. So uh, that's going to be it for this week's show. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes. Just search for Zomala Destroyer. Or if your pet monkey goes a-snooping through your iTunes and we don't want them to find this show and start listening, then what you do is you go to my website, zomaladestroyer.com, and you can stream individual episodes there or download them there or whatever. Get it either way. Talk at you, Iggs, next Sunday. 